What's up, Atinis? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Jerick, Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Curtis. <laughs> I'm early Jarek. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. We can edit his whole part out. <laughs> Current day Jarek. Current day Jarek. <laughs> and y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all seen the title. Y'all know why y'all here. Why? ATs. Why here? Eternal Sunshine. Who? Of the spotless mind. ATs. It's a God tier movie. God tier. What? You're our eternal sunshine, so hit that subscribe button and become a real redeemer okay. today. It's not too late. Not at all. For more content like this, you're funny as shit. <laughs> Jump in the comments. <laughs> hit that subscribe button and become a real yeah, redeemer. Yeah. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. We're getting into the live version of Eternal Sunshine today. AT says um, some more live performances on there that are blocked. They have two gods up there as well. Um, just we'll a fire. We yeah, got we will be with you. Stop it. You're, you're punning. Don't stop. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> That's the real. Hey, you know, you know. <laughs> um, but nah, man, it's a God tier group. Jump into this, see what this banger is gonna be. Hopefully, we're not jumping into the middle of something because uh, we know they uh storylines be, yeah, they be lining. God's here. And if he was like, Stop doing it, this is the best video that ever dropped. Ever like, Jared, comment, subscribe. Jared got it. God's here. Cause that production, you know, so once they on the train, that shit hot. <laughs> Where was it high in this set? They were like, I've been told you. Let me stop, let's stop my body. Let me stop. <laughs> Fix on! If you like. Right. Hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 I need to be on the boat. Woo! We only said that too, where they're at, like the production itself. I didn't know if that was the beat or him. No, honestly. Yeah. They did that a lot, which I always love too. I said, I didn't know if that was the beat or him. <laughs> What's his name? Who is that? I'm in the transition stuff. Using it like it's like the sun that. raising it up. 
was a fucking banger, boy. A year ago? Why did we not listen to Until this a year, year ago? ago? Why did it take a year, a year for, for us, us to, to listen? listen to? I don't know. They didn't pick this. I did. So, I don't <laughs> so, <laughs> so now we got to So <laughs> nobody <laughs> told us about this? Yeah, I seen this was one of the most popping vids, and no one, I don't think, said anything about it. So... <laughs> Redeemers, do y'all love us like y'all say? Yo, I, I swear, <laughs> if you watching this video, someone lying their ass, or somebody like, I fucking said something <laughs> two years when the channel, I said something three years ago before the channel started. <laughs> Why y'all ain't <laughs> tell us about this one? This is a good vibe, man. This is definitely a summer vibe. Yeah, and the and the thing too with that this is man. um like, how can I word this with words? <laughs> no, we're disrespectfully to other artists. Um, well, let me phrase it this Say way. What you want, bro? <laughs> no, I'm gonna phrase it this way. Um, every K-pop group kind of needs one of these songs. One of like the can't stop the feeling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just kind of one of those like summer, kinda, yeah, that, like the, the film the anthem. anthem. Yeah, like they they need one a of that summer anthem. Um, but what I like about their interpretation of that is like sometimes those songs are either very EDM heavy or very reliant, like in the production. And I oh, felt I like I felt like at no point did the production even go over their vocals or anything mm -hmm. like that. Like they they they. they Attack that approach, but in a different way from other people, in my opinion. And if this I come back uh, of the year, for double me. down on that for a sec is to say, um, you. you know how we talked about that, and I know we we mentioned this with several other songs in particular, but you know their voices are either part of their production or the production feels like so yeah. in tune with their voices. I want to see the live to see if that's someone you actually know, absolutely, doing it. Absolutely, because like, it's like you know the vocalizing that you're hearing, kind of in the the hues of the the production. Um, I and I know we've heard it in like fun. several other tracks before, but it, they blend it so well together. But all that to say is like when you get to kind of, you know, that type of track where it's like, you know, um, just a, a real feel good song that is usually in you know, a little bit of that EDM sort of territory and everything um, where it kind of has the, the blessing and the curse, perhaps of kind of, you know, the EDM sort of not necessarily being reliant on it, but like, you know, kind of could walk that line of being in danger of being reliant on it. Mm, um, definitely so walk. when they when they kind of use their voices in the production, at least seemingly to, to kind of, you know, my perception of it. Um, and I know we'll know more, like, of course, in the live, but um, all that to say, like, I feel like that's a unique thing that they do that is certainly, like, something that makes their music stand out all, the, all that much more. Um, but regardless of even if it is something in the production, it's something I really love, and I feel like gives it, like, a, a more unique feel as well. Um, so that's certainly, like, translated really well for me, too. That building matches with Nick's hat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but that's real shit. And I feel like sometimes if if you don't really like EDM songs, that's kind of like people's biggest takeaway from it is like sometimes it can be either a bit too loud or jarring and stuff like that. And these songs they can go outside, get into it. Grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love EDM songs and shit, but I can understand yeah. how some people might just hear it like, <laughs> and then. <laughs> It's just like, oh my oh god, it's like a lot going on. I don't know what's if going on. If you can't, on. if you can't dance to <laughs> EDM, off. you're not lit enough. <laughs> I swear to God, they, yeah, you, you really? should be lit enough when the EDM is on. Just, yeah, just I got to insert that little young boy that me in it with the shades. On. Yeah. <laughs> come on, this is that kind of music. That's like, come on, like, come on now. Yeah, you like, can't not like that. Yeah, like, you no know? matter where you at and shit. You hopefully you've had five mimosas already and shit. Yeah. But honestly, yeah. even the song like being called Eternal Sunshine, like it, it just exudes that that positive, you know, radiant energy and Eternal everything. Sunshine. So it's like you, you, like it's so well served within the production. Song um, is just so bright and, and also too like uh, at least from what I'm like if I'm not mistaken in saying of course but they do a lot or they are very heavily involved in their production themselves I know Hung Jun is like you know <laughs> producers really hands on with a lot of the stuff that they do I'm sure they probably have other people who like of course work on it you know in the studio or anything like that um, or under the label I should say I guess but all that to say like I just I think that the, the way they blend it like that sound with with you know the group's identity and um, you know attacking it kind of specifically that way I just felt that that was something that blended really well too so definitely shout out to the production and you know I'm assuming at least Hung Jun um, was heavily involved in that so definitely because yeah, that's what I thought he, I thought that's what he was talking about I thought Hung Jun was the 
orange hair, but I didn't really want to speak on it. No, nah, he, he, he was. The one that started off with the, the one laugh that, started, that Jarek was talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's Han June because he don't he do the like, ha. Yeah, he, he does the laugh and Mingi. Okay. Or his and and then the fix on. on. That, that shit was insane. Mm-hmm. He was on that. He switched up his flow yeah, a couple times. He switched times up the flow too, and, and, and everything. Shit. Took that shit um, to the next level. And we level. talked about that too, not to get into that either, but when there's uh, producers within specific groups, whenever they kind of have rap structures in their verses, the way they flow is like really unique and kind of gels so well with the beat, of course, because they're heavily Kanye, I call it the Kanye effect. Yeah, honestly, mm-hmm. but it, it's you know just they're like, producing. You just like they have such an ear for kind of the production and the, the sound of music that I feel their flows and cadences are always really it's unique. A nice ear. Um, and him switching it up and everything, I thought was really great too. Nah, real shit. And the utilization of colors. I know you joked about the whole like your head matches You're the, uh, up the, world the around around you. shit. Like, <laughs> I ain't never seen that shit though. For as many kind of like pastel colors and other things that we did to kind of have like the whole projects look like fucking. The, the parade or something like that. Like, you know, that, that's, that shit was kind of different. Writing up the world around you. Real yeah. quick. Even the cinematography on here was a little different. The way it's kind of jumping in and out the trains and shit and, like, going into the city and everything. There's a lot of money done on this, but it, it it's not too jarring. I want to um, just make two comments, three comments. Make as many as you want, bro. Sure. Uh, first first two one. Max. It's the <laughs> people the like this. blue. That blue Louis Vuitton shirt. Super fucking fire. The fits is fitting. The bubble vest, I can't tell, but that's Louis Vuitton also. That's super fire, super exclusive. So I know you got to have it, that money to get that. And those pants with the, whoever has that yellow sweater on, I can't tell. Those pants are super fire. I love the cuts, the distressed look. And that Celine head. That Celine head. That was four. Super that was too fire. much. Sure, but <laughs> caught his ass. Too many comments. <laughs> now sit. Uh, <laughs> ah, damn. No, I'm good. No, go ahead. Go ahead. I actually don't have any more. It's just fitting. Let's see what you did there. <laughs> yo, shout out to the stylist, yo. Like, that shit gotta be hard. Like, trying to get niggas to look different every single, like, <laughs> every comeback. And he has on ones. Shit. Those Stop are one. Like, Damn, y'all got another video yeah. again? Yeah. Imagine you put the vest on and they like, come on, dickhead. I had this vest on last comeback. <laughs> it's like my fault, you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the lines, nigga. Oh, the ones? Yeah. That's, that's clean. Got threes in there. I think. I can't tell what those are. Those are the ball, man. Those are the Balenci's in the back. And then high tops. You know the vibes? No low top Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> only dunks. Only uh, <laughs> dunks only. And I like the colors. Like their sweater colors on this scene. That color, like those colors are super, super, super colors. I'm interested too to see uh, when we jump into the live performance, what's going to be like the choreo and the overall vibe of everything. Just because you get hints and pieces of the choreo in here and it look like cool. Mm. On some summer shit. Yeah, that's another thing I was gonna say too. Uh, with, uh, when they the got summertime. when they got into the bridge and they had that kind of call and response back and forth and everything like that, you just mm. felt like that crowd immersion uh, that would have been like you know there as far as like you know like mm-hmm. kind of holding the mic and you know what I mean. Some things made me clap. Shit, yeah, like, <laughs> no, but I'm saying it's like you know that might seem like it's almost like automatic or something like that. Like if you just say something and kind of like like the crowd will engage in it. But some people crowd control. No, ass. But no, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. But it's like, you know, they, and I know we've seen this in, you know, other performances of course from them, but it's just like, that just felt like so, because all right, to make it a little bit, I guess about the message in general, like if them, if they're talking about like the eternal sunshine and everything, mind you, like, I know they've used the metaphor of kind of, you know, the, the pirates and the treasures and kind of, you know, God in the stars, like it was like their fan base, like the, the fans, you know, we uh, star 11, 17 and everything, um, basically you. seeming like, you know, the fans are kind of what guides them and everything, what's their light and their darkness, you know, that sort of uh, kind of motif and message. So when they're talking about eternal sunshine, it feels like they're talking about the fans, where it's like, you know, you're the ones that light us up and everything like that. And kind of basically you're the ones that provide that everlasting power energy. Shout out to the fans. Yeah, because, you know, like the, the motif of the sun is life and everything like that, too. So it's like you're the ones that give us life, give us shine, brightness, all that stuff. Um, the and they have great lyrics saying? in there as well with it. The but teams. basically all that to say, when you get to that call and response moment, you feel the interaction or you would understand the interaction between them and the fans, mm-hmm. which it just serves the message so great. It's a, it's a satisfactory, satisfactory for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you have that call of response and it hits, you know, especially when you're with the audience, 
and everybody just like feels that moment. Exactly. It's very, uh, it's a very cool feeling. It's almost as like when you're at a sports event and you watch a home run or a touchdown. It's like a feeling you can't really describe, but it's a it moment be, that you, you're you'd like high five and handshake and hugging with people you never like really. Yeah, know it's or like, like it's just the just audience is enjoying yeah. it. The players or the artists are enjoying it. It's a very was this shit called dopamine? Interesting. Yeah, it's a dopamine. Yeah, yeah rush it's like a sure. dopamine rush almost. I, I give you mean. Which even calls into the sunshine motif as far as happiness, brightness, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is kind of what the sun would do with the melanin, it, like would affect your melanin and everything mm-hmm. as well. So talk yeah. to him. That vest is interesting. It's an inflatable vest. That mm. Yeah. Oh, you go. Oh, that's, that's actually creative. <laughs> From itself. spring collection 2021. And it was around $3,400. Inflatable vest. I thought you were about to say, wacky waving inflatable for <laughs> 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 African American helicopter. <laughs> yeah. No, but this shit was different though, man. I um Etis is different in the um sense of them being able to like just really do everything when you look into like their discography. The again, man. We are we jumping into one. the law. Um but just the the fact that they have like, you know, at this point I think we can play almost ten different songs and none of them sound the same at all. Um, just you know, the ability that they have with the choreo and everything this like is that. One of my favorite T songs. What was it? They really snapped in this drum, man. I love that bubbly, that just summertime, I want to go to the beach vibe. This is what, this makes me want to go to the beach. It makes me want to go to the West Coast. Just be outside by a pool, you know? That's this, all I want. To be outside by a pool. I'll play this song. Nice little hookah. <laughs> like a pina colada sounds good, man. Is this they join and shit? The, um, you know I say the, when groups had that like you can't hate it song. Are they at like, KCon. Oh, honestly, funny enough, good. I was actually gonna mention that kind of earlier in a Are way. These where folks just, at like, KCon. You know, it's just such a feel so, good. Yeah. Like, this year, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was that Sunday or something. Was mm. that day two? Yeah, yeah, it was a day they two or something. Because I know we, we was talking about this uh, the other day actually. I feel like this is them inviting me to KCon. Day one. Day one. Day one. August twentieth. That Saturday. Oh, who, wow. I who, thought they was day two or three. Who there with them? That Not to compare. <laughs> <laughs> Not to compare. It's Cravity, Hyphen, Itsy, Stray Kids, I and I. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to see us at KCON, please comment down. Let us know if you're going to be there because we will real shit there, possibly. No nah, real shit. Like really, let us know like who's going to KCON and shit. And we that will actually set up lit. a meet and greet. He's, Where he's, we can meet you guys and you greet with you guys. Cravity. That's a lit ass day, man. Hyphen, Itsy, Stray wow. Kids. Mmm. Damn. There's some kingdom in there. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Say, <laughs> nah, nah. But in all seriousness and shit, like, if y'all are going to be, uh, like, going. It is something we've been thinking about, uh, like, getting into and everything. It's and I so definitely funny love you mentioned, like, that whole summer vibe and everything, too. It just, you know, that really Perfect gels, timing. like, so well together. Yeah, I'm cool. Uh, anything else you want to get off? Get some more? Uh, I'm just going to add uh, one thing briefly about the video and everything and kind of how it pairs into everything. Um, mm-hmm. I like how basically they'll be in a lot of, like, not to say the, the settings themselves are mundane or anything, but basically the, the way they use the production design um, and the um, use of the colors and everything, like, they... Basically, their presence and everything, it just, like, they elevate every kind of set they're in, even if it's, like, you know, like I said, just a train, uh, where it's, like, now there's, like, you know, uh, like a vine kind of growing aesthetic or something like that. Uh, mm-hmm. Certainly when they're outside, even the, the white buildings, as nice as they look respectively within their own right, um, it's just, like, you see that that kind of, like, those rainbow colors all around it and everything, like, everything just pops kind of around it, but it's all that to say, it's just, like, you're just brightening or, or feeling the brightness of kind of you know those around you the world around you and if that certainly relates to like the fan base or anything like that as far as presenting that like i just thought that that was really creative too um and definitely uh within you know like it felt like in mingy's verse um or minji's verse i always mess that up um but they were talking a lot like it felt like um there was a lot of songs that were like kind of referenced if i'm not mistaken like you said like um i believe they said don't stop uh, mm-hmm. like celebrate and promise and everything like that if i'm not if i'm not mistaken 
Um, so it, it did feel like at least, you know, knowing that this came out last year, perhaps those were kind of like subtle references to other tracks and everything, which I thought was really cool. Uh, and then in Hung Jun's verse, I really like how he kind of mentioned the, the whole Peter Pan and uh, Morbius ship and everything as far as like there's all these things that are everlasting, like kind of the youth and everything like that. But he said even amongst all of those, like what we have here is the eternity that I want basically or that shines the most to us. So I just thought that that was like really kind of creative and slick as well. No, nah, no. Nah, and the nah, vocals nah. were vocal. Like, yeah, the, yeah. And, and another so thing, line was right, line. <laughs> another thing too, like not to you know make it about that or anything, but I know in so many of the songs, a lot of the moments <laughs> had, that had stood out for us and <laughs> particular to me um, have been like a lot of uh, Zhang Ho's kind of belting out notes. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly like those notes were incredible that we did hear in here. Mm -hmm. But I like all that to say the credit to the vocal line in general. You know what I mean? Like their mm -hmm. vocals and the way they pair off each other, harmonize and mesh. Um, and like everything about that was just like always hit in general for me. Um, so I just really love also that they kind of, you know, no pun intended, but had their kind of shine in here as well. Um, because, I mean, all their voices sunshine. really are so beautiful, too. And it's just, I feel like it's something that, like, perhaps, I mean, at least to, you know, my perception of it isn't, like, as talked about as much, mm -hmm. um, perhaps. And, you know, I thought that was really cool as well. And also, knowing that Mingyi, um, again, if I'm not mistaken, and Hung Jun's verses are usually back to back, but they were actually spaced out speak, with mm -hmm. a little bit here uh, as far as like the lining of it. So I thought that kind of allowed like a nice sequence of kind of the vocal line kind of meshing throughout um, without also like breaking up any kind of momentum. So it just, it really had a unique kind of groove and structure all the way through and it was well served in the production, the video and everything. So it really hit on all levels uh, for me that it possibly could have and definitely excited to check out the live performance and you know, what else they're able to, to bring to it. Yeah, man, they they really just different, man. Even even the line distribution, really, on mostly mm -hmm. every song is just they they always make sure someone is uh, well, everyone is going to get the opportunity, ironically, to shine. Mm -hmm. um, like you know, whether that's through visuals, whether it's through dancing, whether it's through like lyrics in the song and everything too. So, just a group that's very dangerous. I feel like they hit you on all cylinders. Oh, last thing too, mm -hmm. uh, and I certainly agree with what you were saying as well. But that closing image as well, where basically you know the hands out, like it's like you know like a sun or whatever, but then the other hand like blends with it, which you know could represent the group camaraderie in general, could represent you know the group themselves, and then the fans, you know, being the other half as far as making that sun mm -hmm. and kind of that formation within the hand looking like a ray of sun. Uh, I thought that was really creative, but then also the camera kind of panning up to the sky after as as a way to like kind of end it. Like that that was really artistic and creative all the way through, and I certainly hope that that's something we you know get to see a bit in uh, the performance as well. Yeah, it's funny too because uh, like you said with the shot and even the Peter Pan reference at the mm -hmm. end and shit, they are flying and he picks them up like they go into Neverland or going somewhere. That's amazing. So, so honestly, yeah. I didn't even think about that either. That's yeah, that's a really like great that should, So much thought really goes into all their all their stuff. You just can't help but appreciate it. Nah, that's real shit. And uh, I like that the guy just, you know, that whole, uh, like, how they explain the pirate aspect of everything, I think mm -hmm. just kind of benefited a little bit more. Nah, definitely. Let's see where you at, sir. Right here where he goes up, flies, and grabs him, and yep. then they, like, go up, and it's just like, oh, okay, I see what y'all were doing here. Um, but, yeah, jump in the comments. Tell us how y'all felt about this. Give us a little bit more backstory. Uh, on this um, I, I do wish at some point We can start kind of Attacking these Maybe in chronological order Just because sometimes Their We tend to really layered too Yeah so. And the concept is so layered That sometimes we might Come in midway through Give you know an, an excellent soliloquy Of what we believe Is going on And then you know We might be missing Some pieces of the puzzle <laughs> Right uh, We might be missing Some pieces to the puzzle You know what I mean And uh, the Redeemers do a real good job of kind of filling in those pieces, but okay. I, I would like to. Our journey too, honestly. Yeah, but I and I, I just would like to kind of start from the beginning and like you know work our way into that. So you For know, sure. I want to hear this song again. We're about to get into it at the live performance. Join the Patreon. About to jump into the live performance. The ATS gods are up there as well. So a lot of other like block performances that are up there. We love you too. We gonna let y'all take care. Peace. Switch the card out, please. <laughs>